Hey friends, how are you? It is me, Misty Beauty, and I'm here to do a general message from spirit to all of you guys. I want to say thank you to all of my A1 Day Ones who has been following me since the beginning. That means so much to me. And I want to say welcome back to all of my new friends who are here following me over on our channel. Okay. All right. Uh, also, you guys make a quick announcement about our self-love club. Here on our channel, we have something called the self-love club. Um, it is a safe place for um, you guys to get to know each other, to meet members of your soul tribe and your soul family. Okay. You can find the link in the, my description box. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Family, going to give me messages. Woof, the white rabbit, you guys. A spark of curiosity, spiritual awakening. Woo, I just heard the rabbit hole. Oh, wow. Heeding the call. Research it. We just got done talking about Spirit wants you guys to do more research, learn more, pick up a book. Um, learn about chakras, chakras, learn about um things that are metaphysical. Things that cannot be proven, um, just research things, research alchemy and alchemists and what herbs do this and how can you, how can you benefit from these herbs? Um, you know, how can you help people with these herbs? How can you use these herbs in your own life, which ultimately, you know, you end up helping other people as well, you know? Um, how can you get into um, the moon magic? Learn the cycles of the moon and when is the best time to do this ritual? When is the best time to do um, any type of ritual? You know, so they really want you guys to learn more Sagittarius energy. Spirit is saying that you guys are waking up from some type of dream. I feel like you could have been in some type of an illusion or you felt like you were in some type of an illusion. It felt like you were kind of going down the rabbit hole, you know, but ultimately this rabbit hole led you towards, um, the, it led you to your spiritual awakening, you know? Um, the diamonds energy is here. talks about you being creative, you guys being rare, Okay. I just heard a legend. Also, this talks about multidimensional type of energy. Energy. So you guys are multidimensional beings. You have great spiritual power. Okay. And uh, Aries energy here as well. So, you know, this talks about you guys being, um, I just heard invincible. You are unstoppable. And Spirit is saying that it is time for you guys to um, heed the call. Even if it means going down the rabbit hole. Even if it means um, going in an area that is unfamiliar to you. Okay? Beehive energy is here. Like, every time I see this beehive card, I think of Queen Bee. I think of Beyonce. You know, but... You know, her beehive is her supporters. And I feel like Spirit is saying that you guys, they are your beehive, okay? Once you put that effort in and, you know, you you stay on your path, um, you guys keep your energy pure. Keep your energy lifted. Um, stay firm. Stay grounded. Taurus energy here. Be more devoted to yourself. You guys are going to be more fruitful. Oshun energy. You know, you guys are going to have a beautiful har harvest um, simply because you chose to stay and endure the journey. You decided to put effort in and not turn away from the journey because you are afraid of change. You are afraid of what is on the other end of that rabbit hole. Honey, money, and love is on the other end of that rabbit hole. Peace, peace of mind, tranquility, oneness with spirit, oneness with source, oneness with your spirit guides, oneness with yourself is on the other end of that rabbit hole. Okay, so. <clears throat> wow, unconditional love and romance and soulmates. For some of you guys, this new partner is on the other end of that rabbit hole. Someone who loves and appreciates you, you know? An energy that is devoted to you and only you is on the other end of that rabbit hole. Spirit is saying that um, this may be a delicate situation, but it's requir requiring stamina, you guys, okay? It's, it is requiring you to sharpen up your skills. Also, for some of you guys, you may have to tread lightly, you know, um, keep your composure, be graceful about the situation with broken base here. Yeah, because you want to kind of avoid any further hardships, any further misfortune, um, any further crisis in your life. So just... Balancing egg, 
do what you have to do to balance out um, your life, um, your experiences, you know, your physical life and your spiritual life. Two, two, maybe it may be of significance to you guys. Two, two, two as well. But, you know, you guys, this talks about coming out of a state of grief, a state of hardship, a state of misfortune, overcoming your trials, your crises, you know, being able to still fix the situation and be open to new opportunities as well. Spirit is saying that there are no accidents. And even if you feel like something was an accident, you this is going to play out in your favor. I feel like you guys have experienced experience tremendous amount of setbacks and being disappointed in your life but look at that five five is here that's changed thunderstorm energy this talks about um how great god is the power of most high you know and that things are truly out of our hands truly out of our control it talks about that big energy shift you know that's going to help you guys um overcome overcome your setbacks and be ready to receive new opportunities you know it talks about triumphing over evil 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 doors evil friendships e evil love partners um narcissistic energy just things that was pretty much put on your path to pretty much slow you down and be a catalyst to your destruction you know you guys had to tread lightly through the situation i'm here and trick your enemies you know that energy keeps coming up you know but Spirit is saying that you guys will not be destroyed. It is okay to go through these necessary changes. It is okay to allow yourself to go down the rabbit hole and to not know where you're going. Yeah, things, your life will be purified. You know, once you, once you surrender to spirit, make some sacrifices with the cross energy here. Um... make amends with yourself though someone from your past may be making amends with you as well but yeah this is an energy of agreeing to disagree i'm, I'm here peace treaty so someone is going to ex extend an olive branch to you and make amends with you but spirit is saying try not to go back down that rabbit hole with that situation if you can if you can keep from it you know something happened something ended for your greater good some of you guys may have recently experienced some type of death, Pisces energy um, here. Whether this was a literal death, I'm sorry for your loss, my condolences, or this was a spiritual death. But you know, this had to happen in order for you guys to heed the call, hear the call of spirit. You know, it, this had to happen in order for you to put yourself first. Spirit is saying there is purpose in death. Even your spiritual death, you know, you we want to be reborn, but you don't want to die. You have to spiritually be at your weakest point. You have to spiritually, you have to go through your spiritual death in order to go through your spiritual ascension. Okay, give me one more. Thank you. Yeah, releasing baggage. So I feel like your burdens, things that have held you back in the past, um, situations partnerships where i feel like you were blinded by what this person did to you i just heard i was blind when they crossed me okay so somebody crossed you and you was blind to the situation you never saw this coming you know and i feel like you guys just kind of carried this trauma with you you just whatever these people did to you you just kind of packed it away and every time you tried to move forward you took this grief with you you took these unresolved issues with you you tried to hold your i'm here hold yourself together you created unnecessary burdens in your life and it was it was holding you back from going to the next phase okay let's tap into um let's see what's going on for you with your love life spirit what is going on for my friends with their love life Ooh. You guys have somebody around you who has, who has been overthinking for a long time about what it is that they wanted to do. And this person has also been um, causing some type of delays due to their overthinking. You know, um, this person may also have been preoccupied um, with their own mess, their own baggage in their life. Yes. Yeah. yeah, this is somebody who ghosted you. This is a ghosting energy um, this is this person hasn't been present in your life for a while, you know, and this was really sad to you. Like this really broke your heart. You this was very, very disappointing um, when this person just made this disappearing egg. Like they just took this this they took it upon themselves to exit out of your life. Um, that's because they were overthinking. 
They were overthinking. You guys also have, mm, I wonder, is it this person? The snake and the evil eye energy. Some of you guys feel like this person was a snake or they may be a snake. Very jealous. You have the snake energy, jealousy and envy, and you have the evil eye. You are protected from, um, you are protected, cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby, careful who you trust. This could be this person. You know, you know your role, you know your story. This person could have been um, secretly jealous and envious of you as well. Yeah, which this was another reason why this person was very cold towards you. You know, I, I need to know. This is someone who was very much in, um, concerned about their self-image, how they look, how, do, how they appear to other people. This is someone who you've experienced many, many cycles with this person. Yeah. But the one thing about snakes, you know, they always shed their skin, but they're still a snake. You can't change a person for who they truly are on the cellular level. This person could have pretty much reincarnated in a karmic energy to be a karmic to you or to be a karmic lesson to you. And I feel like, you know, this was a really hard pill to swallow, you know, when spirit gave you this message because you saw potential in this person. You saw potential in them. Yeah. You guys wanted to work together with this person, possibly, you know, um, start some type of business or you just working on your career, your success. Right now you're earning money. Look at that. You guys are going to conquer the world. You have the world that's waiting on you simply by uh, releasing this snake energy, this person, this lover who wasn't, to, who wasn't working together with you, but they still feel like, you know, there's more that they can get out of you. There's more that they can get out of the situation with you. And I feel like this is a very self-serving energy. It's about what they can get out of people, you know? So spirit is saying that, you know, if you make the decision to um, isolate yourself from this person, this was very, very smart of you. They're very proud of you. I see them like patting you on your back, patting you on your back. They're very proud of you. I'm, I hear them saying, good job. Isolate yourself from, e from evil, jealous, vengeful type of people, even if they are lovers, you know. And this is going to help you guys manifest. Yeah, you're going to go from you're going to go from receiving bad news to look, you're going to go from receiving sad news to receiving good news simply by isolating yourself, you know, removing your emotions out of the situation, recharging your mind, your body and your spirit and allowing yourself to fully tap into your power, the power that you that you possess. You know, look at that rebuilding, rebuilding yourself. Spirit is helping you guys right now rebuild yourself after you know, whatever happened between you and this past lover that was devastating to you, you know, dealing with someone who was supposed to be um, your lover, your friend, you know, this person was really a snake who was really like secretly competing with you, you know, this is why this person was always in their head. Because I feel like they just look, they looked at you more as someone who they needed to compete with versus someone who they wanted to settle down with. This is somebody who neither really was over concerned about the way the world see them, superficial things, you know, all the, the shiny and the glitter things instead of what someone looked like on a soul level. What does that soul look like though, you know? Yeah, so I see you guys turned your back. Eight of Cups, you walked away, and that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. I'm hearing that the spirits or the gods are looking down on this person, you know, like they're not favored in the spirit at all because of what they did to you. They're not favored. Spirit saw everything. Most high saw everything. And I see you guys, you know, turning your back on this King of Wands energy in reverse, turning your back on this player, choosing to put yourself first um, in finally do something that was going to benefit you and walk away from this player energy how does this this king of wands in reverse feel about this this person need that they're in their head you know they're trying to get out of their head about the situation that's what this is yeah but this person feel like you know they let their star get away um that <laughs> this person is having a hard time manifesting at this time 
Yeah, ever since it's like you were this person's good luck charm. Ever since you walked away from this person, they haven't been able to manifest fortune. Um, they haven't been able to manifest peace in their life, tranquility. This person has not been able to manifest simply because you tapped into the emperor's energy. You took back control over your life. The fact of you getting back on your shit, getting back on your grind, really, really, you know, embodying this Empress energy, even if you're a feminine energy, truly tapping into your, your divine masculine energy, because you guys, we have both. We have divine masculine and divine feminine energy within us, you know, and it's just you, it really took you um, channeling this Emperor energy in order for you to turn your back and walk away from this player. This person who was non-committal, very flighty um, type of energy. This person had multiple connections with multiple people. You know? Yeah, I'm hearing like this person. I just heard show love to everybody. So this is the type of person who try to show love to everybody. They show emotion to everybody that they're with. And it, and it kind of gives the illusion that, you know, they're in love and they really just want like flings and like one night stands and things of that nature, you know. But I see you guys showing love to yourself, you know, resting, you know, like really, really sitting in this isolation energy and being your lover, being your own lover, being your own soulmate, you know. Yeah, this person, like, <laughs> they really thought that they broke you down. This person really thought that they got one over on you. They really tried to one up you. This person intentionally set traps for you. They intentionally said things with the intent of hurting your feelings so that you would think less of yourself, you know? And this is why this person is lost in spirit. This is why this person is not getting another grand opportunity to um, enter your life at this time. And this person do everybody like this. They, they always, like try to think of a way that they can get more get over how can how can i get the most out of the situation um without putting in the work you know how can i get the most out of the situation while putting in the least you know and this is why you have bad memories of this person doing this and this person know that you have bad memories of them in this way they know you don't think too highly of them and it's their fault some of you guys, you have a new partner that's coming in um, that's going to be in control. The emperor energy, this is take charge type of energy, and it's going to be emotionally available to you. And I just see this past person wasn't emotionally available. Yeah, and I feel like you guys received clarity on this. Now you know. And it took you a while to realize because this person was like a master illusion, illusionist, I'm hearing. They were really good at um, creating an illusion. This, for some of you guys, this person could have been a shapeshifter. I'm hearing. So now that you, now that you see the situation for for what it is and who they are, you guys, or you turned your back. You're focusing on rebuilding your life, rebuilding your sanity, your peace of mind. I'm hearing. Yep. <laughs> new spark of passion, new ideas. Okay. New love, new everything. You know. So this is beautiful. Like you guys deserve this. Let's pull from um, the tea light oracle. I'm hearing um, Lizzo, because I'm my own soulmate. I know how to love me. I know that I'm always going to hold me down. Look up in the mirror like, damn, she the one. What, what, what? That bitch in the mirror like, damn, I'm in love. I think that's how I go. <laughs> Moon, change, changes in your life. So, yeah. I feel like you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of changes, especially with this new moon phase, you guys, or some type of new moon energy. Um, April energy is here. Someone's name could be April. Um, cherry blossoms may be significant to you or something. April 5th, someone's birthday could be April the 5th through the 12th, I'm hearing. Weeping Willow. Oh, I love Weeping Willows. Family Sorrow. So yeah, some of you guys could have experienced, like I said, a, a, a literal death with the Family Sorrow energy being here, you know? 
Also, I'm picking up, look at this, um, this is reconciliation. So, um, this person may try to come through for a reconciliation after some time of being in grief and sorrow, you know, without you, you know, period after a period of frustrations and lessons to be learned. So, you know, maybe this person will learn their lesson and come through for a reconciliation after grieving and crying with the weeping willow tree, you know, but like I said, it's totally up to you what you choose to do with this person in this situation yeah psychic abilities trust your intuition like i said it's up to you trust your intuition if you feel like this person has grieved enough and they've changed and they went through this transformation then you know the choice is yours we all have free will you know warning um warning you of a problem either now or in the future but spirit is saying they they're warning you though it's kind of like it's like they're, they, we have in our free will, but spirit is like, yeah, you got free will, but didn't we warn you? <laughs> you can do what you want to do, but we did warn you, okay? So, yeah. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this message just as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. Love and light. Peace.